going on, guys? Welcome into our welcome into this show. Rover Sports is back, guys, and uh, boy, oh boy, do we have a pretty good tape to get to today. I mean, I thought Mitch Trubisky's tape was impressive, and it still was. But this Deshaun Kaiser kid, man, oh man, is this kid going to be fun to cover and watch the next couple of years? I can understand why Brian Kelly tried to blackball him into coming back, throwing him under the bus, basically being a jerk like I think Brian Kelly is almost all the time, saying the kid's immature and whatnot. I mean, come on. I mean, first off, the kid's mature, and I know Cleveland is is hesitant. They're like they're like a, a, a person in a relationship that gets off like a ton of bad girlfriends or boyfriends if you're a girl watching this or whatever or whatever sex you are, if you're gay or watching this, have a terrible relationship, and then you like happen to get burned time after time after time after time. So you're so I know Cleveland is not going to buy in immediately because they're just the boulevard of broken quarterbacks. But you look at Deshaun Kaiser, and this dude right here is looking everything like the savior and out of everybody in this class, the ball the ball pops off his hand like few I've ever seen in my life at this at this age. I mean, look at how he pins this ball right on this kid. I mean, there's so much good news from this tape. There's things he can fix, like running after that, not taking his time completely. But look at Deshaun here. Perfect ball right into the guy's chest. Good footwork. This dude loves to learn. You listen to his interviews, he sounds like a 30-year-old kid. He's about as close to a can't-miss prospect. And after watching this video, guys, it's going to be really, really apparent. And Hugh Jackson, he fu- he has his dude. Here, Deshaun holds the ball too damn long again. So, aha, there's things to fix for sure. Guy's ceiling is freaking unreal. And you're going to see that in just about a second. You're going to see this guy's ceiling in a second. All right. Third and seven. Half field read. I know, I know. It's a half field read. And if the guy's not open, the play goes to crap. I know, I know. He can fix this. That's why he's a rookie. They're really easing him in. They're giving Brock and Cody some snaps. I get it. Hugh Jackson is extremely cautious. If you ever listen to a Hugh Jackson interview, this guy can throw for 700 yards and he'd still say, well, he's got some things to work on. And, you know, he's coming along. He's making some plays and, you know, he's making a lot of mistakes, but that's normal. You know, the guy can can basically throw for a thousand yards and Hugh Jackson, it wants to keep this guy as modest and humble as possible, as grounded as possible. And Deshaun Kaiser, he is pretty damn grounded. Okay? I mean, this is just so damn exciting if you're a Browns fan. To not have to look for a quarterback, you gotta ride everything on this guy. This guy's bigger than RG3. Look at how he evades the pocket right there. Look at this, no panic, how he evades sidesteps and then throws this ball 12, it's not even 12 yards because he's throwing to the outer hash. I mean, is that a ridiculous play, guys, or what? Is that ridiculous or what? (laughs) Is this insane? This hop step, is this insane? Trust me, we're not going to gush over everybody on this channel. But it, but you know what? We're supposed to have some emotion. We're supposed to love this game of football. You got to love that. Okay, I know. The feet are not great. Let's pause here. He's taking sacks here. He's indecisive. He needs to learn the offense better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is not a finished product. But Hugh Jackson, you don't need to do anything. Deshaun Kaiser is the answer at quarterback. And I say that ironically as he gets sacked. Because here's the play of the preseason. Third and 15. Guy's not really having any success. A lot of adversity. 
Remember, we've seen the ant. Look at this pump. Look at that pump fake. Look at the pump fake. The pump fake was everything to me. Like how he slid up, did a full pump fake like Ben Roethlisberger, hand big enough to hold the entire football. Jared Goff in his small hand, that ball would come sprinkling out of a water bug. That ball would come, you know you know what I mean? Like some quarterbacks, they can't even do a half pump fake. And then he hits Ryan Mullaney with seems like 60 yards down the field. He even said after the game, he didn't even throw this ball. And, it, and it's right, it was a wobbly throw off bat. Like, it's a wobbly throw, but that's a gunslinger. That looks like Cam. That looks like an Aaron Rodgers. That's a winner. Winners make throws like this. Not guys that are like neutered cats, okay? And there's quarterbacks out there that their coaches are making them so damn afraid, and I'm not going to spoil who is, I think, a neutered cat out of this group. That's a big-time mother-freaking throw by Deshaun Kaiser Soche. I mean, this is amazing. And Ryan does a great job, this guy Mulaney. I don't even know if his name is Ryan Mulaney. Some Irish guy, but he killed it, Mulaney. So, watch, love the box out here. TD. Fantastic stuff. Cheers, Cleveland. And again, it's Cleveland, guys. I don't live in Cleveland. I'm coming at it from an outside perspective. They've been burned so many times. They fought RG3 was the answer. They fought Couch or Whedon or Johnny or, or Brady Quinn. No one's had this guy's talent. And yes, this is a fastball. And yes, this was pass interference that wasn't called. And yes, the touch could be better on that throw. Yes. This is preseason and this guy is barely, I don't even know if this guy can, can legally drink in the United States. All I'm trying to see here, I'm trying to see potential. And there's some quarterbacks like Deshaun Watson that are going to start for their teams. And Deshaun's ahead of this guy in terms of footwork, in terms of reads right now. He is, honestly. But in the long run, I don't think there's anybody I'd rather have than Deshaun Kaiser and Davis Webb. And Davis Webb just because of things off the field. Just because of how mentally Davis Webb is tough. I'm going to get to Webb in a second. On the next video. But here, Ferdinand 24, you thinking game's over, right? One time out for Cleveland. I mean, the thing is, watch this guy hold in the pocket. Look at him hold, move the defender. He moves the defender there, and then he sticks it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. How does he not get flustered in this box? Even Deshaun Watson's getting flustered in this box. Patrick Mahomes is gone. I love how he holds his ground. The rookie holds his ground. Eye manipulation. I'll, t I'll show you again the eye manipulation. I mean, this is stuff NFL scouts would tell you that, that there could be guys playing for 10 years and they can't eye man manipulate the pocket. <laughs> I know that this is a defensive end, okay? He still eye manipulates him bad. And there's guys hanging right off of them. That's a stick. That is a dang stick. Okay? And then fourth and two, the jugular. Good night, New Orleans. Courtesy of Deshaun Kaiser. Knew the blitz was coming. Checked out of a run play. Look, no panic. Hanging in there. Ball's hanging, you know... He, he manages to get a ton of on this. He knows Mulaney is going to be open. And he knew that the Saints were playing cover zero, which means everybody was going at that. Like every the cover zero means everyone's bringing the house. He checked out of the run play. He knew that if he had enough time, he's going to win the game. The dude damn won the game and he threw a perfect droplet. And the throwing motion, everything about this kid. I mean, Brian Kelly, for him to say the stuff he said about Deshaun Kaiser, he just wanted him back another year because he went 4-8 and eight probably. I don't see anything immature about Deshaun Kaiser. I don't, this guy is a winner. And I even love the quote he said in the offseason, I have the body of Cam Newton. I mean, that could be taken from, from AFC North fans as being arrogant, or a lot of people would think that's arrogant. 
You need that type of confidence when you're a young man, when you're a quarterback in the National Football League. The dude sponsored by Jordan. Deshaun Kaiser, I mean, these throws, these are good for a veteran. So he might get in at the end of the season this year. It, Hugh Jackson, he's comfortable. Hugh Jackson, you know what he's doing? He's, he's going to the beach, and you know what Hugh Jackson's doing? He's taking out his lawn chairs, his, his beach chairs, and he's setting them on the beach. He's, he's going in the newspaper, going in the deli, getting some breakfast, okay? He isn't John Fox. You know, John Fox or Deshaun Watson and, and Bill O'Brien, I mean, they're looking to go surfing right now. They got to hurry up. They're on the beach, and, they, and, and, and especially, you know, Todd Bowles even is a guy that he knows he's going to be screwed if he doesn't play his quarterbacks. So, Hugh Jackson's here for the long run, Cleveland. Patience, I know Cleveland. I I, I know that you probably don't want to hear patience. Um, bottom line, the, Hugh Jackson and Deshaun Kaiser together. I love Hugh Jackson. Quarterback guru, specific as hell. Amazing at coaching up dudes. I, I just can't wait. To, and Hugh Jackson likes to take chances. So I I freaking love this, guys. I love this. And uh, Cleveland goes on the win, gets the W. So with Deshaun Kaiser, relax, continue to develop this guy. If the guy stays healthy, guess what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen if Deshaun Kaiser stays healthy? The guy could possibly be an all-timer. The guy could be a transcendent player. What you're seeing right now is you're seeing a guy that has transcendent ability. And this, my friends, I cannot wait for Giants-Browns on Monday night next week. We'll see you guys. Have a good one. I'll be back soon.